Hey, thanks for tuning in. So this week we're talking about selling in the Bay Area, uh, especially in the light of COVID as we're looking into a new style of showing, right? So we're looking at no more open houses, masks, gloves, and sanitizing before you go into a house. Uh, we're realizing that marketing online is, is almost super important now, especially if we look at how your average buyer is engaging with the market. You're seeing them on apps, right? Redfin, Zillow, Trulia, and whatever, you know, online-based search. Um, it's so important now that when we look at buyer behavior, the importance of marketing online, uh, especially if you're looking at a seller who has not much exposure in the current market, especially when they, they you know, they bought or sold a house 15 years ago and they're like, Zach, you know, we want to sell now and what they're experiencing as a selling party. So last year I was able to help a client sell their home in the Cambria neighborhood of San Jose. Uh, they had a previous agent who had listed their home and more or less didn't stage the house or their online presence with the house wasn't as impactful as it could have been. And so what you're seeing is because the pictures weren't right, their staging, there was no staging done to the house. It was a huge turnoff especially now when you think about the mindset of buyers, uh, the, how, the home was originally listed at a million dollars, right? So you're looking at that, that price range and that's very entry level uh, in terms of pricing in the barrier, unfortunately. Uh, if I could sell homes to my, my clients for half a million and their down payment would be super low, then I, I'd love to do that. But unfortunately, if you, if you wanna be anywhere in the Bay Area and you're looking at single family, entry level is around a million dollars. So we're looking at, I guess the millennial mindset and how they're engaging. And so it's very much like a dating app, right? Where pictures, video content is super important. The home has to show well online before a buyer even considers it, right? Cause you're looking at that online perception where perception through you know your phone screen or your computer screen is all picture based. So if the pictures aren't top notch, high quality and the videos that you are putting out aren't engaging to engage a buyer with the house and kind of give them a flow and feel of the house, you're going to lose that buyer. So when you're looking to put your home online, uh, now knowing how buyers engage with the house when it's digital and online, and now on the backdrop of COVID where they can't just kind of check the house out, you need to sign a lot. Basically, it's a COVID liability form. You need to schedule, right? So, you know, the two to four window for open houses is no longer a thing. Um, it's really important that you are marketing online as best as possible. So now we're gonna look at the listing of the current agent. We're gonna look at how they presented the property online, their pictures, and how they let the, the how they showed the home. And then we'll, after that, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the same spaces versus when my team took over and we had it staged, we had professional photography, and we really went you know, the whole nine yards to make sure the home was able to be shown at its top condition. So now we're looking at the living room of the original photos. Uh, this is the family's own furniture and complete, nothing against their furniture, right? Um, but what we're trying to highlight is the house's appeal to a mass audience. Typically speaking, if you're looking at the, you know, the original furniture uh, presented by the, the agent, you're seeing a lot of heavy furniture, right? And for day-to-day -day life, perfect, no, you know, whatever, no problem. But if you're trying to attract a, you know, an audience for the house, you want the house to feel alive and have a good flow. So we're looking at the living room here and there's a couch, a red couch right in the middle between the dining room and the living room. And at the end of the living room is a large sliding door. So this flow is, is fantastic, right? From the dining room, you can see all the way through the backyard and their backyard was gorgeous. It had tons of fruit trees, had a nar has a nice overhang. So it was like perfect for San Jose. And we put a, they put a big red couch in the middle. So as a viewer, especially if you're looking at it from, say, a, a buying perspective, the living room look, looks cut in half. The, the square footage now feels smaller because there's this large item in the middle. So visually, it impacts the buyer's decision to be like, I want to see this house because it flows well. Uh, especially when you're looking at people who are trying to maximize their dollar versus square footage. Right, That flow is really important. And you want it to look kind of more modern, right? Because you're looking to attract this millennial buyer where modern is important to them, right? They don't want to feel like they're living in their parents' home. Uh, so when you're looking at online photos, this is really important. 
So now we have, we're looking at the den. Again, you're looking at a lot of heavy furniture, right? We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison where you're gonna see the impact of kind of helping a seller rearrange their furniture. Or, or in, in our case, right, if our seller is having trouble um, kind of storing their furniture, if they don't have a place to, that they've already decided where they wanted to go, our team will help take care of the storage. And so what we found, we helped the seller find a local storage unit and we had our moving team, our stager had an ability to put, you know, their high-end staging furniture inside the home and kind of maximize the appeal for our sellers and maximize the appeal for our, you know, potential buyers. And also just looks great in photography, right? We're gonna, I'm gonna cut in a video of, that we did. So that will help give you a flow of the house. Next up, we have the master bedroom. The master bedroom is really important because this is where the decision maker will spend their nights and wake up to, right? So if the master bedroom is not displayed well, the person who will be living there won't be able to visualize himself there, right? So if it looks boring, the, the buyer, the potential buyer is going to feel like, oh, this house isn't speaking to me. And, and granted, this is all arbitrary, right? This is based on someone's appeal, opinion and feeling in the house. And you can't cover all the bases, but at least I've tried to make the house as available and as welcoming to as many people as possible. So when we do these little touches, and this is why I believe staging is so important, right? It helps reach out to the buyer and kind of help them make their emotional decision. So when they go to see the master bedroom, they feel welcomed, right? They feel like I see myself here. Because if the buyer doesn't have that feeling of, oh, I see myself in this house, they're never going to put in an offer, regardless of what the price is at. Rather, if it's low, high, or somewhere in the middle, can't do anything. Like, there's no ability to get into contract, regardless of the price, if no one's putting an offer in, right? And that's something that came up during this listing, is because the previous agent had the home for 100 days. And unfortunately, they had dead open houses, right? This was last year, so open houses were okay. It'd be two to four, Saturday to Sunday, and no one was showing up. So the seller's like, what's going on? Why is this my house not hitting? So that contract expired and it got canceled. So what ended up happening is they hired us. And so when they hired us, we maximized the online showings, right? So we ran, ran social media ads on the background and on the background, on top of Zillow, Redfin, our social media ads were, to, were able to get 8,000 additional views to the house, right? So maybe the, the seller, you know, didn't realize that this is also important, right? Because now we're, showing a larger scope of people, right? We're, we're going beyond, you know, Redfin and Trulia and, and Zillow. Now we're hitting them on social media. Now what we're able to do is right, we're about to make the house seem more appealing, right? We're going to where the buyers are instead of this kind of mid middle ground of like, are they looking at us? Because if your typical agent is just putting on an MLS, putting a sign in the front yard, you can't track that data, right? There's no way to to, add, to truly know what how the house is doing in terms of, say, online uh, engagement. So when we're doing social media, we're able to track that. That's really important, right? If it's going on Redfin, you might see, you might, you know, you're having to get the hot house. Um, but unless you're, you know, keeping an eye on it, you're kind of limited to, you know, a little banner on the top of the picture. But when you're doing it the way that Sit Group does it, it's, it allows you to really see um, the engagement of the buyers, all right? There's also a feedback loop because you can have people liking it. They can comment, you can drive that engagement. So for Sit Group, we have a proven marketing strategy that goes above and beyond your typical agent. And it really helps a home shine, right? So you're talking about an online, online marketing strategies. 
we're talking about in-person marketing strategies. Right now, COVID has kind of made it a little tricky, but we do have ways to bring your house to the consumers, right? Beyond just online. On top of that, we're reaching out to the other top agents in the network that have a large book of business and buyers that are ready to buy, right? They're pre-approved and obviously if they're pre-approved, they're getting shown homes. So we have ways to access those agents who are showing those potential buyers uh, for your house. And we have so many other ways between Ross's 15 years of experience and my ability to bring homes online and maximize viewership, right? So this is something we're really proud of. Um, we work hard for our sellers, right? We have a large book of vendors so if you need staging, we have that. You need cleaners, we have that. You need some upgrades done. We have contractors that are extremely affordable, licensed, and you know able to help us. They've never let us down thus far. And they've also done work on our personal home. So it's a huge benefit for our clients when we have contractors in our books that have been in the game for a long time and have worked for us personally. It's a huge benefit because we're able to allow them to see your house, give you a fair quote, and get the work done quickly. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and I'll talk to you guys soon.